everybody, J&A Review, and we are back at Sherman RV in Sherman, Mississippi. Now, before we get started, I'd like to say a big thanks to the people here at Sherman RV for allowing us to do this video. So for all your service, sales, and accessories, you just give them a call here at Sherman RV. Now, today we are excited to bring you a look at a 2022 KZ Connect. Now, stick around at the end of the video we're going to give you our hit and our miss on this KZ Connect. So let's get started with the video. This is a 2022 KZ Connect model number 322BHK. The length on this one is 37 feet, 1 inch. The dry weight is 7,970 pounds. And that hitch weight up front is 860. Now we've got a lot of wind noise today. And traffic. So just bear with us and we'll do the little quick outside review. We'll start right here. This has got a power tongue jack, which is always really nice. Your two propane bottles will sit right there and your battery will go right in there. Here is your front pass-through storage. You'll see that it's a nice large storage. We'll show you the other side when we come around. Coming down here, new for 2022, KZ has started doing a new docking station. Um, this one is locked, but all of your water and I believe your cable hookups yes, will go is in right there. there. And Here's your black and gray tank uh, dumps here, so it's a great location. This is a very good location. It's not located under a slide, so this is easy to get to. Coming on down. And this is a 50 amp camper, so there is your 50 amp service, your black tank flush, and you do have the Equiflex. Yes. Very awesome. We, we travel in a KZ Connect also. And the Equiflex is very nice for towing. Here is another, uh, this looks like a black tank right here. Yes, so you'll you can... see why when we go inside. This camper has got two slides, yes. Yes. So it's got a slide on both sides. Here is um, the side on your driver's side of your vehicle. Coming around the back, you'll see that it is prepped for a Furion backup camera. You do have a spare. You do have a hitch back here but I think it's only for a bicycle yes if you um, want to put a bicycle not towing yeah a well, bicycle rack what I'm trying to get at okay. this is going to be your campsite uh, we'll look up here real quick and we're real, really close to this other camper so um, we can't quite get the entire side but this is gonna have two power awnings on this side uh, the one on the slide we believe is 10, 10 foot. feet and the one at the front is gonna be 11 so this is the slide on your campsite. Well, let's go ahead and show them the uh, electric yes. it does stabilizers. Have, yes, and you, know, you will see that this one has actually two propane quick connects under here, which is just absolutely great. All right, you ready? Down here, okay. this is a little quick view of the sort of the underbelly, just in case you're interested with the rack and pinion slides here. Now, this is awesome. Wow. KZ has got an awesome outside kitchen here. I love it. Storage. You've you, got the, the little suburban griddle that pulls out. Yep. And then just flip this over. Wow. You have an outlet up here for a TV if you want to do that. A plumb sink. This is gonna have a quick connect hose, and so you heard your hose up here. Yep. And they also give you a quick connect um, for the griddle. For the griddle. Yes. Okay. A little little Very outside fridge. Nice. That size. is nice. And, and you got one little drawer right drawer here. So Very cool. That is just absolutely great. All right. Um, let's see if I can give you a quick shot here. Of this side you're gonna have your solid steps a nice grab handle 
And let's show you the other side of this pass through just real quick. There's your 50 amp cable. And this is also prepped for a tire pressure monitoring system. That is awesome. And there's your light to turn on your um, outside lights on your nose cap. Very nice storage area. All right, this travel trailer looks great on the outside, so let's head inside and take a look. Okay, here we are inside the new 2022 Connect. Um, we would love to show you their new uh, control panel here. This is very nice. And uh, it is also, I do believe, connected Bluetooth wise. You can connect it to your phone and run all your slides and lights. Yes. And it is motion, uh, motion activated. So yes. you can you can just do this and, and the lights will come on. Right. <laughs> okay, we're very impressed with that. That's very nice. Um, this is gonna be your switch for your hall light. Mm -mm. No. It's a switch for your lights over the slide. Oh, I stand corrected. This is a switch for your lights over your slide. There you go. Uh, here's your air conditioning. Uh, control. We'll just start right here in the kitchen. You have a um, nice uh, press membrane surface here. Big single bowl. Yes, with a nice sprayer faucet. Yes. Up here you have some good storage. That's awesome. And some more. And more storage. You have a nice large window under here. This one doesn't open, but it does give you some really nice natural light. Yes. We're gonna show you uh, the appliances real quick. Um, again, I know a lot of people just wanna know about the size. This one's gonna be a little smaller Furion, but it's a really uh, good size microwave. There's your vent. Your vent hood. Hood range. Okay. <laughs> uh, three burner Furion cooktop with an oven. Oh, and lights. And lights. Under the sink over here, we've got some drawers and some doors and all There's kinds of... There's a big room down in there. It is. And we've got one, two, and three. Wow. Nice size drawers here. Okay, and if you have watched us for any length of time, you know we are a fan of these 12-volt refrigerators. Yes. You can, you can load your fridge up before you leave and they, everything will be cold and it'll stay cold until you get to your destination. So we, we love these 12 foot and this is a 12 volt and this, this is going to be a 10, 10. foot. It's going to be that 10.7 cubic foot. Yes. Foot. <laughs> I can't talk either. I've been hanging around you too much. We've had too many monster drinks today. So yeah. Ready for a little, little pantry area. That is, um, is deep. It is, it's the whole length of the slide there, so it goes, it goes back pretty far. Your fuse panel is going to be right below your refrigerator. Okay. We'll go ahead and um, let, me, let me swing around. All right. I don't want to make anybody dizzy, but here's your first air conditioner. You have a nice skylight up here. Down here in your dinette, you've got storage on both sides. Yep. And a pull-out tub. And I'm getting tickled. I can hear my can blowing around outside because the wind is blowing. So I hope they don't get us for littering. <laughs> and there's your other yes. storage tub. This table will, of course, let down. It'll make into a bed. We'll show you what that looks like. You've got a nice large window here that opens. Yes. You've got pleated shades above it. <laughs> got a light up above it. Up there. Oh, light. Sorry. There you go. We're not used to being able to record with lights, so this is this is all new for us. Also have a light over here with some more windows that open. This is going to be a jackknife sofa with cup holders. We'll show you what it looks like when we put it down. Let's come on around to the entertainment center. Go ahead and have a seat and uh, show them the yes view here. Wow, this is pretty comfortable. Scan around and look. Yes, so if you're seated here on the sofa, this is what your view will be like. You've got a nice size Connects TV here with your uh, speakers, 
DVD player. You've got storage there underneath. Mm -hmm. This is also going to control your outside speakers. You have a nice 30 inch Furion electric fireplace. This is great for cooler weather. You can save your propane and not have to run your furnace. And where we are in the south, you can go ahead and stay camping until January. Absolutely. And just run your fire. Oh, it's so nice. It is very nice. All right. Well, let's head to the back of the camper. This is a bunkhouse model, and we will show you this awesome bunk room. You'll see that it does have another uh, dining area. Um, this is great, you know, if your kids want to be a little bit separate from you, or if you have adult guests even, they can have their own area back here. This also will make into a sleeping area. We'll show you what that looks like. You have a bunk up above that lets down. That has got a 250 pound weight limit on it. I can't get on that one. <laughs> but this would be great for your kids. Very nice. Very nice. I'm going to turn toward the very back. You do have a nice big window here with a pleated shade. Yes. And that is an emergency exit, so that's uh, a really good location for it. Coming all around. You've got some storage over here. This is going to be over your outside kitchen, so you've got a nice size. Oh, there's the light. I knew there's a light up here. There you there go. We go. And this bunk is going to have a 500 pound limit. So Cousin Andrew could sleep on this one. <laughs> so you can have, you know, you can get an adult up here. You can get two kids up here. Now this cubby is actually wired that you could put a TV here. Uh, wouldn't need to be a little bit smaller, but hey, it'd be perfect for gaming if your kids want to sit back here. And it'd be one of those, you, you just have it on a pedestal. Mm -hmm. So when you got finished with it, you could might could wrap it up and maybe put it on yep. the bunk, maybe, or, or even on the bed. Or if it's a small one, you might can mount it and pull it out and push it back in there for yeah. travel. You've All got right. storage down here below. Oh my goodness. Two, three drawers. Three drawers. And underneath the drawers, you have got a nice shoe cubby area. So yes. you can kick your shoes off and keep them out of the middle of the floor. Unlike our son. Unlike our child who has shoes everywhere. One more super, super feature of this bunk room. Okay. Oh. It comes with a half bath. So this is just absolutely awesome. So your kids or your guests would have their own bathroom. Let me open these up so everybody can see it. Yes. And this has got a fan in here. We don't even have the light on in there. So you have that much natural light. Plus, you also have a window that will open. Yes. So in case you need some more airflow in there. So this is just great. This is actually a very nice size half bath. Great. All right. Let's head toward the front. Going toward the front, we will come right here into the restroom is going to have a rack up here for you can hang your towels, hang a bathrobe. You do have your foot flush toilet here at a little bit of an angle, so that gives it a really great position. I'm going to come in here and turn around. Up here is your medicine cabinet. You do have a rectangular sink, a little bit of storage beneath. Yep. And this does have a fan in here. This is going to have a corner angle shower. All right, let's step up in here. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yep, yeah. Jeremy is right at six feet tall. He's got plenty of room. There is a skylight up there. And he is nowhere near the skylight. Nowhere. So that is just great. Okay, I'm gonna pass this off to you so we can show them the linen closet. All right. You got a closet, and it does have an opening down at the bottom. Um, that would be a great place for a little waste basket down there. Oh, yeah. This bathroom has two openings. We came in through the hall, but you can also access it from the bathroom. All right, I'm so going back out. We will close this door and go into the master bathroom. Bedroom. We're going into the master. We're going into the master something. 
stick some lights on here. This is going to have a 70 by 80 king size bed. Yes. You're going to have a light there. This does have hanging wardrobe on both sides. Uh-huh. You've got a shelf across the top. And this does have a nice pleated shade over the front windshield. And you've got power and USB ports okay. back here on, on both, both sides. On both sides. That is awesome. And if you can see that there is a shelf there, and there's also a little cubby under under that. It. So you have a good Love bit of storage. This shade too. Yes, yes, yes. Very nice. Real quick, here's your second air, and you'll see that this is also ducted, or you can open it and just dump it directly into the bedroom. You've got storage underneath. Oh, yeah. Nice. Very nice. And, of course, you do have your windows on both sides. Right and up here is your TV backer, and this is where you will um, hook your TV in. All right. This is just very nice. All right. Now, everybody, stick around. We're fixing to do the hit and miss. folks it's time for the hit and miss so I think the miss let's go ahead and get that one out of the way yeah. would you like to go ahead and tell them your miss on this yeah. travel trailer personally what I think is a miss is going to be a little bit of a lack of counter space unfortunately anytime you have a bunkhouse model you're not going to have quite as much counter space now they did um, give you the sink cover so that helps it also helps that you've got a solid um, glass top over your oven stove. So that does give you a little more, but if you have... But like a, us, though, if you have a coffee pot, it's going to be have to sit here. Yeah, so that does take up some of your space. This is not bad for this size. Um, so, you know, most people can make it work, but I would love to have seen just a little more counter space. And I think the only thing that uh, kind of saves it, because if you're out getting stuff out, you can use yes, you the tabletop. But, yes. yeah, I see what you're saying. Yes, if you, if you have a large gathering, you might want just a little more, but you could also bring in a freestanding folding table in here. All right, so let's go outside for the hit. All right, folks, the hit has got to be this outside kitchen. I mean, this, <laughs> yeah. this is my dream of an outside kitchen. Yes, we are a big fan of these griddles. Um, not so much the burners, but hey, to each his own. But this is, this is our pick for sure. And you've got the storage. The storage, let me come around you, I mean, the little fridge out here that you can keep your Diet Mountain Dews in. Lots and lots of Lots them. and lots. And you've got the drawer that you can put all your mm. utensils that you cook with. I mean, yes. this. And we are impressed with the sink that is plumbed so you don't have to run it full of water and then dump it, which is very inconvenient. Yes. So definitely, definitely this is by far our pick as a hit. This has got to be. As always, this is strictly our opinion. We would love to hear from you guys. Tell us what you think. Uh, what do you like? What do you maybe not like quite so much? Yeah. Yeah, leave your comments down there below. And, uh, oh my goodness. And if you like this travel trailer, just give them a call here at Sherman RV in Sherman, Mississippi. And, uh, hey, go ahead and tell them you saw this on JNA Review. Thanks, everybody.